makes people attractive? This is a question I believe has been asked for years, decades, or even centuries, yet no one answer fits everyone. However, there are certain habits that tend to be synonymous with attractive people. These are things you do with or without anyone being around. These are the traits that set you apart, and I'll be listing 10 of them in today's video. Thanks for joining today. My name is Chantel. If you like what you see, please do well to subscribe. Also, don't forget to turn on that bell icon next to the subscribe button so whenever I post, you'll be the first to get a notification or at least one of the first people. Alrighty, thank you so much. So here are 10 simple habits that make anyone attractive. Number one on my list is appearance. One of the habits of attractive people is that they take care of their appearance. The way you look is key. It is very, very important. I'm sure we're already aware of the fact that everyone we meet judges the way we look, the way we appear. This means that your hair matters, your nails, your makeup, the clothes you wear, your shoes, everything that make up your appearance, basically. Buy and wear only things that suit your body now, not the body you had or the body goal you're looking to achieve. You can play on your best physical attributes and accentuate that. If you have amazing legs, wear clothes that reveal them more. If your shoulders and neckline look great, wear clothes that reveal them more. If you want to become more attractive, then start by taking care of your appearance. It might seem like a small thing, but it makes such a huge difference in how others see you and most importantly, how you see yourself. It also gives you that confident gait which brings me to my next point, attitude. One of the most important signs that is linked to a positive person is that they exude a positive attitude. This means that they always look on the bright side, saying the glass has half full, and trying their best not to let negative things break them down. Did you know that attitude, whether positive or negative, is infectious? So if you have a positive attitude, it automatically makes those around you feel better and people are attracted more to you, as opposed to being a negative person, which gives an adverse effect. So if you want to attract more people into your lifestyle, working on your own attitude. The third habit that makes you more attractive is your posture. Your aim is to look like a supermodel in the way you stand, in the way you sit. Don't just slob and slouch. Have good posture. It even gives you more confidence in the way you walk and the way you appear generally. This is extremely important in getting anyone's attention. It is a way to be actually silently attractive. You don't need to say anything, but people already find you very attractive. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that once you immediately start sitting upright and standing straight, people immediately find you attractive. What I'm trying to say is, whether you're sitting or standing, try to make sure you look good doing it. The fourth point is the way you smell. Make it difficult for people to forget you with the fragrance you have on. Let strangers know who you are just by that amazing scent of fragrance you have on. Invest in really nice fragrances, they don't have to break the bank. Having such a great scent is a sign way to pull attention to yourself. You can easily make people like you or want to get to know you better just by smelling good. It is really an attraction magnet if you ask me. Number five, overall body care. I wanted to keep this point skincare specific but decided to broaden it because I have a lot of things to say about this. If you're a man, please concentrate on your grooming, your nails, pedicure, manicure, um, shaving, everything that makes you look good and stand out basically. Women as well, <laughs> that toenail polish that has chipped since six months ago and you have refused to go and change it, I beg in the name of God, you have ten toes but just four have the nail polish still intact go and change it. Concentrate on teeth hygiene. In fact, let me even stay on this teeth hygiene. I don't know why I'll be talking to you and the first thing is that I'm seeing yellow plaques in between your teeth. That's not a good outlook. It doesn't make you attractive. Even if I'm looking at you, you have my attention, I'm already judging you in my head. Like I mentioned at the first point, every time you see someone, you automatically judge them by how they look. Wash your teeth, go to a dentist, book an appointment, go for cleaning and polishing. If you have the money, you can opt for teeth whitening. Your smile is the first thing anyone notices. Why does your teeth have to be so brown? Why do you have to have so much dirt in it? Invest in your teeth, same way you invest in perfumes and clothing. I washed my teeth recently. I went for teeth whitening. I did like the scaling and polishing and also went for teeth whitening. It cost me about 80,000. I know that's a lot, but it's worth the investment because it's something that I would do probably once a year or at most twice a year if I want to go overboard like that, right? So make sure you invest in your overall body and um, yeah, just stick to a routine. Go for pedicure, like I mentioned for men. Some of them, the heels of their leg as I just started cutting, you can see the, the, the dry skin cutting. Women, invest in a good skin scrub. Men as well, scrub off the dead skin from your body at least once a week. If you can't come in to twice a week, once a week is fine. Just do that for yourself. You're not doing it for anybody. Have a good lotion have a good oil, trim your bushy eyebrows, 
file your nails properly. You don't necessarily have to fix your nails. All I'm trying to say is that you should invest in a good internal and external body care routine. It makes you really attractive and it's also a win for you. Also remember that your appearance precedes your personality. You might have a good personality, but once your appearance is shabby, I mean, nobody's going to give you audience. The sixth habit that makes anyone attractive is confidence. Confidence is key when it comes to attracting others. People are naturally drawn to those who know what they want and aren't afraid to go for it. So if you want to be more attractive, start by working on your confidence. Even if you don't feel like you have a lot of it right now, this might sound cliche, but in this case, it works. Fake it until you make it. The more confident you act, the more confident you will become over time. Being confident in who you are, embracing your strengths and weaknesses attract others to you because it shows them how genuinely secure you are with yourself. The seventh point is have a great sense of humor. Don't be so uptight and very serious all the time. Nah. Learn to take jokes, laugh deeply, and have fun. Being able to laugh at yourself makes you more approachable. It doesn't mean that you should let go of your boundaries. Okay, remember that. But just losing up a little bit and have a lighter approach towards some things. It generally makes people more attracted to you because that witty attitude you possess makes them more relaxed. The eighth point for me is to be a good listener. As funny as it sounds, these days people barely listen while conversing. Like really assimilating, not just waiting for when is your turn to impute, when is your turn to talk. An attractive person draws people closer because they love how much of a good listener you are, which is very rare these days and people need someone to pour their hats too. Mm -hmm. The ninth point is mannerisms. There's never a shortage of please and thank you with an attractive person. Their etiquette is on point. They are not rude or unpleasant to people for whatever reason. Having good manners is a highly sought after and very beautiful trait to have and attractive people possess that. They are friendly to everybody but also very selective to who they let into their space. So it's definitely something to look into incorporating into your lifestyle if you want to be classified as an attractive person. The the third and final point in this video is that attractive people maintain some sense of mystery. Have you ever heard of that quote that says attraction is more intense when mystery is involved? That's the case with an attractive person. Self-explanatory. They keep people guessing, wondering, and just being curious basically. It's like peeling the different layers of an onion. If attractive people like us <laughs> just lay all our cards on the table, then where's the mystery in that? Not only will we be guilty of oversharing, but we eliminate any sense of wonder, any sense of curiosity about who we are or what we stand for. Attractive people, I would say, are a puzzle being solved or being discovered one day at a time. These 10 traits of attractive people prove that it is not necessarily looks that attract people to others. But instead, specific attitudes and personalities is what makes people look and feel more attractive. Striving to incorporate, if not all, but a few of the aforementioned habits into your life can make you more attractive and more successful. Also help in making the world a better place than you met it. What do you all think? Are there any points I left out? Please leave them in the comment section. Did you enjoy watching this video? Give it a thumbs up. If you're here to subscribe, please do so. Share this video to your family and friends if it added value to you. Thank you so much for watching and uh, yeah, I'll see you all in my next one. Bye! Sometimes you win some and sometimes you won't.